We keep a close eye on all the latest coming in on that front. Moving on for now, though, the U.S. jet that crashed yesterday in eastern Afghanistan is being said to be a high-profile mobile CIA command aircraft. Reports indicating that among the people on board was Michael DeAndrea, the man who orchestrated the mission that led to General Qasem Soleimani's assassination. We cannot confirm these reports at this point, but if true, this would be a huge blow to American intelligence in West Asia. Iranian media citing Russian intel reports to conclude that the jet was carrying the Andrea, who heads the U.S. intelligence operations in Iran, Iraq and Afghanistan. He was a top CIA officer, often called the Dark Prince and Ayatollah Mike. He was Trump's chosen man to head the CIA operations in Iran. The U.S. had announced the crash of an E-11A jet, but has not released further details regarding the identity of the men on board. What is the E-11A? It's a treasure trove of clandestine information carrying a powerful communication system that is especially effective in rugged terrain like the one in Afghanistan where the crash took place. There are only four 11As deployed in Kandahar and they serve as mobile command centers for the high-level officials. We're also being told that Afghan officials and the Taliban clashed near the mountains where the jet came down. The provincial police chief said that his men were ambushed by Taliban fighters who tried to prevent them from reaching the crash site. The authorities saying that there are four bodies inside the jet and two people are missing. The Taliban fighters, however, claim that there are six bodies at the crash site. The insurgent group saying that they would allow a rescue team to retrieve the bodies. So far, neither U.S. officials nor Afghan officials have visited the crash site. Iranian media is hailing this as revenge for the killing of Qasem Soleimani.